Oh, hi, how are you? It's Diane Banks, voice actress, radio personality, and Disney fan like you. Don't forget to please subscribe. It's a quick click of the red button. And my other vids, I've got over 300, including eight major ways Disney World's going to look different after coronavirus. And you can find the thumbnail with Mickey with his little mask looking all cute. So I thought I would talk to you guys about a couple of shows on Disney+. Plus. You may or may not have seen, but they're my absolute favorites, and I really think they are... Uh, well, I think the, Imagineer the Imagineering story is the crown jewel of Disney+, Plus, and I think prop culture is the hidden gem, if you haven't uh, found it. If you have found it, then it's not hidden, right? <laughs> but I just thought I'd share a few little things I found out about the shows and uh, get your thoughts. I would love to know in the comments what you think of both shows or either show. But just um, off the top, um, I thought just in terms of the trailers for the shows, to give you an idea of what you're going to see, um, the Imagineering story, I thought the trailer they did, Disney Plus did a nice job, whoever put that together to, to give you an idea of the, the whole history of everything you're going to see. It's an amazing, in my, in my opinion, an amazing show uh, done by Leslie Iwerks, whose family has a history, long, long history with Disney, which we'll talk about. But Prop Culture, I thought, um, I love, love, love the show as much as I love Imagineering story, but I thought the trailer didn't give it... Um, I think the show, let's put it this way, is way better than, than the trailer. Um, there's nothing wrong with the trailer, but I just think when you see the show, you're going to fall in love with it. Like when I saw the trailer, I thought, oh, yeah, it looks good. I'll watch it later. But when you watch the show, you'll you really fall in love. And Dan does a great job um, hosting, I think, too. I guess he said it was his first time ever hosting a show. So it's prop culture and the Imagineering story that we're talking about. Now if you don't have Disney Plus or you want to check it out, just so you know, you may not be aware they have a free week. Now Netflix and some of the others give you a free month. Disney doesn't have to because <laughs> they've got so many subscribers. But actually it's nice that they at least give you a free week to check it out. So if you're not sure it's in the budget right now, you're already getting too many channels. Um, or you just you know want a free week before you make a commitment you can do seven days so there's that um, but I thought just just a few things to to toss out here um, that I found from you know different things on the internet um, and, and some behind the scenes stuff but these were on Disney's oh yeah I guess it was Disney Plus type but they talked about Mary Poppins her beautiful costume which if you have not seen prop culture you will see it and I dare you not to cry I never thought I'd be crying over a Mary Poppins episode but I did um, this episode too with pirates was excellent in prop culture and for the purposes of this vid I'm just gonna go back and forth between the two shows Imagineering story and prop culture um, and then this one was Roger Rabbit so that they could follow um, uh, Roger could be in the eye line of the live actors, so they would bring this prop around. He it's cute. They carry him around in the episode that he's in. You may have seen, and the episode I thought was terrific of um, uh, Nightmare Nightmare Before Christmas too. So these are just a few things they give you a peek at on Disney Plus um, on their Twitter, and I recommend checking out Dan Lanigan's Twitter too. Um, either follow him or just check out some of the cool photos and things that he's got behind the scenes because you know he talks about the Jack Skellington and working with these wonderful people and uh, from oh yeah the shrink ray from from uh, Honey I Shrunk the Kids which well I, I okay turn the volume down I'm gonna give you a spoiler in case you haven't seen it they actually restore um, the shrink ray back to its original version from the very first movie. Awesome. The whole thing, the whole episode is great, but I just love that they did that. So, um, and like I said, you know, if you've seen these already, please leave comments and let me know what you think of the show and what your favorite things are in both prop culture and Imagineering story. I really would love to know what you guys think. Uh, and then here he is with Charles Fletcher. How cute is this? I, I don't know how he did the voice of Roger with all the weird things he did with his cheeks and everything but um there's that puppet that they brought around to again for the eye line um that was an amazing movie wasn't it really a, a landmark film pan's labyrinth I've never seen that but um he just has a whole bunch of cool stuff here you may want to take a look at i think there was one more 
Um, oh yeah, this is like my favorite, one of my favorite movies of all time. Okay, not Disney, but still great. Team America. Um, okay, just a couple more quickies here before we wrap up. But um, of the Imagineering story, I'm going to give you links for all of this stuff too, you guys, if you want to look at it. Hi, but, but, I'm Leslie Iwerks. Uh, I'm the director of the Imagineering story. So Leslie, in, in this piece, she talks about, and the animation is really cute too. This is from Disney Plus again. She talks about her family background. Um, and her grandfather was of iWorks. If you're a Disney fan, her, her dad was Don iWorks. Both of them huge in Disney history. But one of my favorite things she talks about here is how, um, let's see, I don't know if I can pull it up, but Abe Lincoln, uh, the puppet for Abe Lincoln, the animatronic, that's her dad's hand that they used as the model for the animatronic puppet. So here's that part. We always have this rubber hand hanging around the house. And of course, I would take it to school and I'd put it in my teacher's drawers. And then as soon as the teacher opened the drawer and saw the hand, you know, it just freaked out. So to me. So I don't know if you could hear that. I don't know if I had it up loud enough, but the hand that her dad's hand that was Abe Lincoln in the uh, Imagineering story, and of course, I would take it she would take it to school and, and freak yeah. out the kids. So there, there's her dad's hand going in the animatronic. So I thought that's a neat little behind the scenes that they don't talk about in the show but there's a lot of cool things like that and also Leslie does a great interview with the folks at Tomorrow Society uh, if you have time to check this out again I'll leave you a link but she does like a half hour interview. I was, I was just thinking that this is a people story it was less about how things are made and Mike I guess that's a, it's a lot about how things are made but it was really more the human journey of innovation and what were what were the challenges that people were posed with and how did they solve them so she she does it's a really cool interview you get a lot of great behind the scenes so much material they didn't get to put in the show which is why I hope they do a season two and three and three hundred um, and uh, I guess she said it took five years to make unbelievable so that's a great interview too and then before we wrap up both shows uh, prop culture and imaginary story are so good but I thought the thing with Mary Poppins okay it made me cry I <laughs> took some screenshots to share with you because I was like oh my god they had of course their gloves on to protect it there's a great behind the scenes how they got the bag so you'll have to watch to see that but this is from I think either D23 or the Disney archives um, it might have been the D23 Expo but their Mary Poppins costume and this is from from prop culture but I was like 1963 and look at how good shape that's in it's amazing and then I had to give you a couple of screenshots of Miss Mary Poppins Julie Andrews doing her magic look at the little one over here going how is that happening but then look at that's the that's the bag as Dan says in the show it's not a bag it's the bag the carpet bag um, and then you know what I don't know I don't remember from the show I, I watched so much stuff um, that I don't know whether they had her hat, but that hat is awesome, isn't it? I don't know whether they have it. If you know, let me know. Julie Andrews looking amazing with that beautiful hat. And there's another shot of the gorgeous carpet bag, Disney Archives. Um, and they had it in storage. Now, these two make an appearance in the show, too. Again, if you haven't seen it yet, you may not know this. But um, this horse is in beautiful condition from the carousel. This one has some more wear, and it's beat up, but they're still both beautiful when we see them in in the show in prop culture they're in the warehouse but I thought this was a nice shot to get a chance to see them uh, set up at least they did it for EW I don't know if they if it was part of the D23 might have been D23 Expo not sure but look at how good that bag looks and it, well, and one of the most amazing things about prop culture I have to say is seeing these people reunited with what they call their old friends it, that's what makes you cry is they see these props and it brings them right back to being in that moment and um, it's it's pretty amazing and I just thought this was a neat shot too because um, it, it, the show is so intimate you feel like it's just Dan and whoever he's talking to but they do have a small crew so you've got what one two three four at least four or five people helping them out so there's that little behind the behind the scenes more carpet bags because I loved it and this I just threw in because I thought this was a cool shot of Julie Andrews with Dick Van Dyke and the Sherman Brothers ta-da the fabulous Sherman Brothers there's that bag again um, as we go back around so yeah definitely if you haven't checked out uh, the Imagineering story and prop culture on Disney Plus check them both out um, I hope you enjoyed these little tidbits that I had to share with you about both shows and <laughs> and Team America. 
Um, so, you know, like I said, I hope that you, <laughs> the rubber hand, I hope that you will um, leave your comments and let me know what you think of both shows or if you're going to check them out now, what you think of Disney Plus in general, whatever you want to talk about. And I hope you're staying safe. Uh, take care. It's Diane Banks. Don't forget to please subscribe and we'll talk soon. Bye.